Have you ever walked into a room filled with lush green plants and just felt better? Like a weight has been lifted of your shoulders? It's not just your imagination. There's a real science-backed reason for that feeling. Today, we read diving deep into the incredible healing power of houseplants and how they can transform not just your space, but your mind. Let's start with the basics. We all know plants are great at purifying the air. Through photosynthesis, they absorb carbon dioxide and release fresh oxygen. But it goes beyond that. NASA conducted a famous study, the Cleaner Study, and found that many common indoor plants are superstars at removing harmful toxins from the air we breathe every day. Think about things like benzene from plastics, formaldehyde from furniture, and trichloroethylene from cleaning products. Plants like the snake plant, spider plant, and peace lily act as natural, living air purifiers, working 20 for 7s to make your home healthier. So, just by having a few plants around, you're literally creating a cleaner, safer environment for yourself and your family. But the benefits go way beyond the physical. Let's talk about mental well-being, because this is where houseplants truly shine. In our fast-paced, digitally driven world, stress and anxiety are at an all-time high. We're constantly connected, constantly stimulated, and often disconnected from the natural world. Houseplants bring a piece of that nature indoors, creating a sanctuary of calm. Studies have shown that simply being around plants can lower your blood pressure, reduce your heart rate, and decrease levels of cortisol, the stress hormone. The green color of leaves is inherently soothing to our eyes and minds, helping us feel more relaxed and at ease. It's a concept known as biophilia, our innate human tendency to connect with nature. When we can't get outside for a walk in the park, bringing the park inside can have a surprisingly similar effect. And it's not just about passively having plants around. The act of caring for them is a powerful form of mindfulness. When you are watering your plants, checking their leaves, or repotting them, you are engaged in a gentle, repetitive task. This simple routine pulls you into the present moment. You are not worrying about that work email or what's for dinner. You are focused on the soil, the water, the feel of the leaves. It is a form of active meditation that can quiet a busy mind and provide a much-needed mental break. This daily or weekly ritual creates a sense of purpose and responsibility, which can be incredibly grounding, especially when other parts of life feel chaotic. This connection can also combat feelings of loneliness. It might sound a bit silly, but your plants can become your companions. You watch them grow. You celebrate a new leaf. You worry when they look a bit sad. This nurturing relationship fosters a sense of connection and can provide a silent, non-judgmental presence in your home. For people living alone, this can make a huge difference in their daily emotional state. What about creativity and productivity? If you work from home or have a study space, listen up. Placing a plant on your desk can do wonders. Research from the University of Exeter found that employees were 15% more productive when their workspaces included houseplants. Plants can improve concentration, enhance memory, and boost creativity. They add visual interest and a touch of life to what might otherwise be a sterile environment, making it a more pleasant and inspiring place to be. That little pot of green on your desk isn't just decoration, it's a productivity tool. So, you're convinced, and you want to start your own indoor jungle. But where do you begin? The sheer number of options can be overwhelming. Don't worry, you don't need a green thumb to start. The key is to choose plants that match your lifestyle and the conditions of your home. Let's start with the unkillables, the perfect plants for beginners. First up, the snake plant, or Sansevieria. This plant is the definition of tough. It thrives on neglect, tolerates low light, and only needs watering every few weeks. 
Plus. It's one of the best air purifiers out there. Next, the ZZ plant. With its glossy, dark green leaves, it looks super stylish and is just as low maintenance as the snake plant. It's drought tolerant and happy in almost any light condition, except direct sun. If you forget to water it, it will forgive you. Another great choice is the pothos. This fanning plant is incredibly versatile. You can let it trail down from a bookshelf or hang it in a basket. It tells you when it's thirsty because its leaves will start to droop a little. It's a great communicator. Pothos comes in various beautiful variegations and is also easy to propagate. So you can make more plants for free. If you want something that flowers, the Peace Lily is a classic. It has elegant white blooms and lush green leaves. It prefers shadier spots and will dramatically droop when it needs water, popping right back up after a good drink. It's a little bit of a drama queen, but in a helpful way. Once you've chosen your plants, it's about creating the right environment. Most houseplants don't like direct, harsh sunlight, which can scorch their leaves. Bright, indirect light is the sweet spot for many. Think of a spot near a window, but not directly in the sun's path. Watering is where most new plant parents go wrong. The biggest mistake is overwatering, which can lead to root rot. A good rule of thumb is to check the soil. Stick your finger about an inch or two into the pot. If it feels dry, it's time to water. If it's still damp, wait a few more days. It's better to underwater than to overwater. As you get more comfortable, you can expand your collection and try some more unique plants. But the journey itself is part of the reward. Watching a tiny new leaf unfurl is a small, quiet joy that reminds us of the resilience and beauty of life. It's a slow, gentle process that teaches patience and appreciation for the little things. In a world that demands instant gratification, Caring for houseplants is a beautiful act of slow living. It's an investment in your home, your health, and your happiness. They ask for so little a bit of water, a splash of light, and in return, they give us cleaner air, calmer minds, and a deeper connection to the natural world. So, the next time you're looking for a way to de-stress or brighten up your space, consider bringing home a plant. It might just be the most rewarding relationship you ever have. Start small, learn as you go, and enjoy the process of turning your home into a green, healing sanctuary. I hope this has inspired you to welcome some green friends into your life. What's your favorite houseplant? Or which one are you excited to get first? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content on creating a life you love. See you next time.